This is the Youth Revolution on Brooke. You're watching a wacky and practical lesson for the Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion song, W A P. Whip. <laughs> In this lesson, we'll learn how to finger pick the bass line on a GCEA ukulele and on a U bass, which is pretty much a bass guitar on a ukulele body. So if you're a bass guitarist, you might be here for the bass line. It's really easy. I wasn't planning to teach bass on the channel because I don't play it that well, but it's really easy even I can play it, so I thought I might as well show you how to play it. That bass line is the only pitched music in the original production, so it's open to interpretation what kind of chords you use, so after we learn how to pick the bass line, then I'll show you some ideas for chords that you can play that match the bass line that you can play to play this song. If you wanna see different parts of the lesson, you can check the description box below for timestamps. There's also some strum pattern lessons down there that I will mention during the lesson. So for the bass line on a GCEA ukulele, we're playing the A string, two, four, five. Two, four, five. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. That's it. Certified free. Seven days a week. Wow, Arctic penguins make that polar bear weak. Okay, let's switch it up real quick. I'll show you on the bass ukulele, which is pretty much the same thing because there's also an A string on a bass ukulele or a bass guitar, and that is the second string down, the A string. So we're playing there, two, four, five. I want you to park that big Mack truck right in this little garage. That's a line that you can say on YouTube. <laughs> right, baseline done, right? Super easy. So there's a lot of different chord interpretations that you could draw from that baseline. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorites. So this is the funky one. B minor seven, barring the second fret, and E seven, the fourth fret, and then the bottom string of the fifth fret. B minor seven, E seven. B minor 7 and E7, like this. B minor 7, E7. B minor 7, E7. Down, a down, up, a down, 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 I wanna speak to the manager, I'm white and pushy. production they're not swinging the rhythm that much it's not that funky it's a very straight rhythm so you might have more success if you're playing along with the original production if you just use down down up up down up we can use the same strum rhythm and kind of the same chords we're going to change them up a little bit to get kind of a acoustic or country folk sound. So this is B and again, E7. So you can even use the E7 that's here, that's fine. style to the original production is probably this one. This is B minor, and then we've got a C sharp shape here, and D. So this is like the B flat or B shape that you might be familiar with, but we're going to play it on the fourth fret. This is C sharp and D. Bottom two strings of the fourth fret, fifth fret, C string, sixth fret, G string. And then you move that up one fret for D. So we've got B minor, C sharp, D. B minor, C sharp, D. B minor, C sharp, D. So B minor, C sharp, get three down up. 
ups. And D, the last one, gets two down ups. One, two, three. So if you just want to strum down, that's fine too. Like we did for the bass line. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and don't forget to watch and practice. Don't forget to watch and practice. Hit like and subscribe. Join the revolution. Turn on that bell so you get notifications. Have fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time with another lesson. Peace out. Park that moonshine truck. Yeah, around this little garage. <laughs>